Hey everyone, it's Tyler and Michelle Stroik from Universal Rackets, and today we are going to be teaching you a great shot that you can add to your pickleball tool belt. And what is that, Michelle? Your backhand return with slice. Today we are going to be teaching you the backhand slice return. Now, why do you want to know this shot? You want to know this shot because if you can incorporate this into your returns, you're going to be able to keep the ball super low. You're going to use some spin. It's going to throw your opponent off and you're going to be able to create way more opportunities to get to the kitchen with higher balls that you can be aggressive on. So stay tuned for this whole video. We're going to be teaching you the tips and tricks on how to hit a backhand slice return. Now, a backhand slice return. I was playing this morning and we mm -hmm. got this idea uh, of what video to record the backhand slice return because this guy that I was playing with, he hit it to me every single time. And I had so much trouble because unlike normal returns that just come at you or top spin it bounce and it might kick up to you a little bit, mm -hmm. the backhand slice return, it stays so low, mm -hmm. there's really nothing you can do other than hit the ball up. Right. You have to get really low to return these type of shots, and they're my least favorite to face on a serve return. Me too. I felt like every single time this guy hit me, that backhand slice return on my third, I had to either, it was too low to even drive because I couldn't get under it. When I tried to get under it, mm -hmm. it would go super long, and yeah. it was so low to hit a good drop that I ended up just popping the ball up into the net. Mm -hmm. So should we get into it? Yeah. Let's go. So before we get into the tips on tricks on how to hit the backhand slice return, I want to show you the difference between a normal backhand return and the backhand slice return. So here's a normal backhand return. Here's a backhand slice return. I want you to see the difference. The normal backhand return, it's just going to go forward and through the court. The backhand slice return, when it hits the ground, it's going to slow down and it's going to stay low and it's going to curve off. Now, the first thing that I want you to think about the difference between a normal return and a backhand slice return is the take back. The take back is what makes that backhand slice return. And what is that? When I'm hitting a backhand slice, I'm going to take the paddle back higher than when I hit my normal return. If I hit my normal return, I take the paddle straight back and then I go forward. If I hit a backhand slice return, I'm going to take the paddle back up higher. By taking the paddle back up higher, I'll give you the cue. When I proceed with my swing, now I'm going to be going down on the ball. So again, a high take back and I'm going to go down on the ball. So normal return, take back, slice high take back so I can come down on the ball. I want you to think, for a normal shot, you are going through the ball, the center of the ball. For a topspin shot, you're going from low to high on the ball, from 6 to 12. For a slice, you are going from 12 to 6. You are coming down on the ball for the slice. When I'm hitting this slice, right, normal return, topspin return, low to high, slice return, high take back, high to low, now I'm going from 12 to 6. You want to come down on the ball. So again, high take back for the slice. I need to make sure I'm sideways, my paddle's back, and then I'm coming down on the ball. And what were you saying about the take back, Michelle? When I serve the ball to someone's backhand and usually it comes from a guy or a girl who used to play tennis, their paddle is already back before they're moving to the ball and that's how I know the slice is coming as a return. Yes, and how can you anticipate the type of spin that the player is going to hit on the slice. It's very simple. If you are swinging to the right, if you ever see it, your opponent swing to the right, the ball is going to curve to the left. If you ever see your opponent swing to the left, the ball is going to curve to the right. And what we can do in this video to get them some bonus information is to teach them how to return this type of serve. So stay tuned. We're going to teach you how to give it and how to receive it. Yes. Ready? Let's go. So again, High take back is key. The high take back is not only going to position my paddle in the proper place, but it's also going to turn my body. Too many players, when they try to learn this, they're gonna go like this. Notice, my body's not sideways. Again, the first thing I do is a high take back. Look at my elbow. I'm literally elbowing someone behind me. So I'm gonna throw my elbow at that person behind me. I'm going to take a high take back, and I'm going to go down on the ball. Now, next thing that you have to do is you have to get into the proper grip. 
you need a continental grip. And what that means is just no tilt whatsoever. The reason why you want no tilt is so you can really get under that ball. You want the paddle to really brush the back of the ball. Now, if you want to take it a step further and get even more slice, instead of going on a continental grip, if you want to add your slice, you can tilt your paddle a little bit to the left. By tilting your paddle a little bit to the left, that's going to allow my paddle to even get more under the ball. So now, after we go over the high take back and the proper grip, now we are going to go over the finish. And the finish is huge. And this is why a lot of players, they might try to hit a backhand slice, but they can't hit a good one because they end up missing for this reason. Let's go. Here, I'm gonna show you what to do. One more, here we are. Did you see my finish? Here we are, I'm not going to move it. I'm going to just turn around to the camera. Look at my finish. Michelle? I see. What are you gonna do? Serve a drink. Put a ball on, on the paddle, right? Ball serving so, a drink. So, if you're doing it properly, <laughs> try it again, here we are. If you're doing it properly, you can balance a ball on your paddle when you're doing your finish. Let's do one more, here we are. So when I finish again, I wanna make sure that my paddle face is facing up, that the tip of my paddle is pointing towards where I want to hit. Now, if I wanna take my slice straight ahead, I'm going to point the tip of the paddle straight ahead. If I wanna point my slice diagonal, I'm going to point the tip of the slice diagonal. That is the finish that you want to do. Now, if you guys actually want to learn this and use this in the game, as though I never have in my entire, what are we on, our second or third third year of pickleball? Yeah. I've never done it because I didn't play tennis, and I'm so uncomfortable even thinking about trying the shot. What you need to do is take some notes. Write some of these tips down that we're giving you, and go out to the court with one other person or even by yourself and practice hitting the shot a bunch of times because this is not something that's going to come naturally if you played like baseball, basketball, or any other sport that wasn't a racket sport because this is not a natural swing path. But if you can conquer the shot, it's an amazing Thing to have in your tool belt for the pickleball game. Yes. And so again, take back and then finish. Michelle mentioned swing path. To take back in the finish, you have to crawl before you walk, but that's the next thing that we're going over. And this is the reason why I actually said it before and then we got sidetracked of what not to do. And players don't have the proper swing path. When they try to hit a slice, could I get a ball? This is what happens, right? This is why I told you about the finish before the swing path. Ready? Let's go. See that one? Look, it's down here. They think, oh, I need a chop on the ball. Players need to think that they're chopping the ball. Players think that it's all in the wrist. No, 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 look here, I'm in my proper position. When I finish, look, I'm never turning my wrist. So you never wanna turn your wrist and you never wanna swing down on the ball. It's really difficult, especially like you said, if you don't come from a tennis or squash or racquetball, prior racket sport background, it's going to be super difficult to learn. Super difficult. It doesn't mean it's impossible, but it's just going to take you a lot of practice and using the proper instruction to do it right. So that's why we're telling you this proper finish for the swing path. Mm -hmm. Because many players, again, I'll do it again, they'll either chop their wrist or they'll think that they have to go straight down. When with the slice, you want to go forward. I want you to think for the backhand slice that you are knifing through the ball. You are cutting through a slice of butter. You are cutting through a piece of paper. The slice is forward, not down. Yes, and something else you'll notice with these tennis players that give these type of returns and pick a ball, where is their head and their eyes when they're making contact? Right at the ball. Yeah, they're, you notice it's more than a top spin return as their head is down looking right into that ball they know it's gonna go in the court. They're trusting themselves because they've done it a million times before. They're never taking their head up because when they take their head up, what's gonna happen? The ball's gonna go up. Yeah, so. 100%. Keep so Keep your head down. Keep your head down. That's a huge tip that's gonna help. And then when you finish again, you want the paddle to be out here like we taught you. So you go forward and through the ball. This slice is not, you wanna think you are when you're making contact because your continental grip, you're going from high to low on the ball but you're not going from high to low on the swing path. I'm starting high for the slice, and then I'm going forward. I like to think of like a field goal kicker when the kicker misses the field goal, 
in, uh, in football, right? The refs go, no good, right? Or you could think that you're just sweeping everything off the table. Think your Thanksgiving table, you just go there and go and clear it. Well, I hope you never do that. But I want you to think again, by finishing, you are going forward. So here we are, we're gonna go, paddle back, and I'm swinging forward and through the ball. And what's happening with your non-dominant hand? Wait, Michelle, you're getting way too fast, okay? We, we... How do I know how to teach such a great shot I can't do myself? <laughs> because well, you you're gonna do, do it, it here if you're- I watch you guys do but it. But here's the thing, right? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna get a non-dominant hand soon. But again, paddle back, and then all I want you to think is forward and through the ball. Paddle back, forward and through the ball. One more, paddle back, forward and through the ball. Now, what did I say before I said through the ball? Paddle back, what did I say? Forward. And then through the ball. Mm -hmm. Forward with your body. That is what makes the slice. That is what keeps it low. That is what makes the ball die down and makes it super effective. It's that you're going forward and through the ball. Many players will end up popping the ball up. They'll end up missing their slices. They can't hit a good slice return because watch. Here we are, one more. They're gonna to toss it and watch what they're gonna do. They're gonna maybe move up ball, then they're gonna slam the brakes, and then look, they're going to pop the ball up higher. I feel like that's what I do. Yes, it is, kind of. So and you're gonna go myself. forward and through the ball. Now, let's try it, let's go, come on, here we are. So let's see it, you tell me, let's see if you're listening, okay? You were thinking of all your extra curricular tips. I don't know if we should do this right now. I tips. won't know, I don't know if I'm gonna post this. But let's see, here we are, let's go. So Wait, what, what are we doing? Come on, listen to me, what are we doing? Paddle back. Oh, look at that, your elbow on the person behind you. Look at that, we're in the proper grip. Now, when you're swinging, let's see a swing. Give me a couple shadow swings. Oh, look at that, can we, let's do the balance test. Congratulations, do two more. Paddle back. Good, one more. Now, what'd you say that you normally do and stop. the reason why? You stop. So when you're shadow swinging, why are we stopping when we're swinging? So I want you, Michelle, here's what happens. You, you do this, you stop at contact. You need to move forward and through the ball. All you do is paddle back and through the ball. Mm -hmm. Your paddle back, slam the brakes, then pop the ball up in there, okay? Mm -hmm. We got this shot, okay? I wanna be playing a mixed doubles uh, tournament with you soon, mm -hmm. and we need to incorporate this shot. So let's say it, paddle back. Now watch, time out real quick, okay? I'm not trying to boost my ego too much, but you were mind blown when I told you for your regular returns that you have to move with your paddle back instead of moving ah! to the ball first and then taking your paddle back. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna move up. There was a bug or something, it's a of bee. course. Here we are, paddle back. And now watch what you have to do. Before you swing, move up, move up, move up, move up. Now forward and through the ball. Good, get back, let's go. Come on, paddle back, elbow. Move up, move up, move up, forward and through the ball. One more, one more, one more. Paddle back, elbow. Move up, move up, move up, good. Another good thing for you as well, and I think your beautiful dress today, you have beautiful shoulders. I love your shoulders. Thank you. I want you to show the back of your front shoulder. So let's see it, move up real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to get you in the camera, okay? You're like moving way too far back for some reason. What's going on? Turn, paddle back. Good, are you okay right now? Mm -hmm. Good. Now see the back shoulder? Mm -hmm. Good, now move up forward, through the ball. One more, I'm going to drop the ball. Let's go, paddle back, show the shoulder. Forward, through the ball. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the start of the video. We have a lot to work on. As you see, we are coming from humble beginnings. I told you I didn't want to do it. So what'd you, what do you have to do for that one? I don't know. You have to keep your head down. Okay. Let's go, here we are. Paddle back, forward, through the ball. Good, let's go. Paddle back. This is not my paddle. Okay, forward. <laughs> You look cute. Through the ball. Ooh, good. One more, one more, one more. So here's what we're gonna do. Come here. What? What are we gonna do, Ty? And first, everyone, Michelle and I, actually, we've been trying to keep this YouTube going. We've been like super sick the past- Totally miserable. Week, two, three weeks. That's why I've been posting videos by myself. No, it's not because she left me to go play mixed doubles with someone else, okay? We're still together, everyone like that, but We've been super sick. Shout out Michelle right now. She's, I'm feeling a little bit better, but Michelle's still under the weather. We're gonna try to teach her to slice, but again, if you like 100% are like tap out, can't do it, that's fine, but I think it's good for the people to see. Okay. Okay? Round of applause for Michelle. Let's go, Michelle. Woo, all right, paddle back. Let's go, okay, now watch. 
Forward, move up, and now through. Let the wrist, yeah, good. Don't, don't do anything with your wrist. You're, you're going like this a little bit. Just go through. Knife the ball. There we are, ready? Let's go. Paddle back, forward, through. Ooh, look at that slice. Let's go. <laughs> Can I get three more? Let's go, three more. Here we are, come on, babe. Paddle back, forward, through. What happened there? You let it go. It you let it, it go. So here, here's a great tip for you. Okay, <laughs> you need to extend. You're keeping it all short. You need to extend it. Okay? okay. You were trying to get to the next step. Now we're talking about. Okay. You need to let it go. Once you're done, I want you to spread your wings. I want you to fly like a bird. I want. So guys, we were recording, and then we went back to my phone, and it was not recording. So. That was horrible, but we are going to resume this video. We dropped so much fire, but I guess, hey, second time's better, I hope, we'll see. Well, at least you get to try these shots two times as oh, many times I can't wait. than you ever would. So to get back to it though, where I think we left off was the bird, you need to fly, fly like an angel, right? That song or whatever. Fly you like need an to, eagle. An eagle, oh, whatever. So when you finish though, you need to let it go, okay? The big thing is, is you need to hit it and just let the hands go. We gave you the proper starting point. We gave you the proper end point. We gave you all these great tips. Now you just got to do it. Okay. What happens wrong is you're just trying to get the ball in. You keep this short. No, I want you to not care. Just once you're done, boom and fly. You start at the right time, end at the right time with the proper position, you're good. Okay. So these next balls, Michelle, I want you to give no, you know what? I can't say it on YouTube but I want you to just not care. I'm gonna give you five balls okay. and just don't care about any single ball. Okay. All I want you to care about is starting in the proper position and ending in the proper position, okay? So here we are, let's see it. Is my paddle in the right place like this, like shining towards the sun? It's perfect, amazing. I want you to give no whatever. So here we are, don't care. Why did you even ask about that? I was curious. Elbow back, elbow to person. Let's go, here we are, let's go. One, don't care about this ball, let's go, don't care. Perfect, look at that. Ooh, slice to the backhand. Better watch out. Here we are, back. Come on, don't care, here we are, come on. Cool. Come on, three more. Don't care, here we are. You wanna do an hour of drilling, I'm giving you an hour of private lessons right now. Go. Ooh, good. So it's going too far, correct me. Can you keep Coach. your head down and go more forward and through? Sure. Here we are, get your body forward. Don't care, come on. Wow. Why? Because you're using your momentum now. That felt really different. The momentum, everyone, is what pierces and penetrates the court. It's what gets that ball super low. Okay. That's why I said at the start or deep into this video or halfway through the video, mm -hmm. is players go wrong, including yourself, because you stop and stand the brakes. No, you want to get that ball forward. Boom. Here we are. Move forward. It's for, like you're going it. in blind. Yeah. But, but you trust your, your form from what you learned from your yes, coach. Yes, and prior to this video, you didn't have the proper form. So you had Not. to compensate for it by trying to get it in. Now, proper start point, proper end point, we're flying. Let's go. Fly like apparently an eagle because that's what that song says or whatever. Here we are. Let's go. Paddle back. Come on. Here we are. Fly. Forward. Forward. Ooh, look how low that is. No one can get that. Let's go. Amazing stuff, okay? So that is what you need to do. And one big thing, and Michelle, go check the camera because I'm freaking out while I talk about this, is your non-dominant non. hand, okay? So the thing is, when you're doing this, you wanna put your non-dominant hand straight back. A lot of players, they might not move their wrist, okay? That's number one, right? And number two, they stop. But they'll put their hand down and it'll force the ball to go up, or they'll put their hand up and it'll force the ball to go down. When I put this backhand up, it goes down, down it goes up. I wanna push it straight back and go forward. And again, what's really going to get that ball to penetrate through the court is that forward movement with your momentum. If we have any fellow yogis here, think warrior two. You want your arms to be on the same path, the yes. same plane. Not like this, we're not doing triangle. We're not going up for reverse warrior. We're going straight through like warrior two. Tyler's doing a pretty wide crow. <laughs> you film your frog hops? Yeah. Whew. Oh, I can't do it anymore. I used to be able to do a handstand. You Just did? <laughs> Never. I mean, I tried to do it like twice and I like ended up falling. 
on my head. Okay, so now again, we went over tips. What are we doing? Paddle back, elbow the person, go forward and through the ball, don't care about it, finish in a proper position, utilize your momentum, let's go. So the next step is I'm going to feed you the balls mm -hmm. and then I'm going to serve the balls and you're going to hit this amazing slice mm -hmm. return that we're learning. Mm -hmm. And again, tonight you're playing pickleball, you have your girls game, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to utilize a shot. You got it. Yeah, right. Just Let's like I found you that slice last Come time. On. It was like the worst shot I've it. ever Come done on. in my life. I believe in you, Michelle. Thanks. Here we go. Let's go. But this all just takes repetitions, and that's why I don't have <coughs> confidence in it because I don't practice it. <coughs> Let's go right back to my backhand top spin return. But not today, babe. I thought you were feeding me the balls. I am. Oh. Right here. Here we I'm are. Back here, should I start all the way at the baseline? Yeah, like a return. Okay. Here we are. Paddle back. Move. <laughs> Good. So it went a little bit high. So what do you have to do based upon our tips? Get lower and put my arm. More momentum. Okay. <laughs> Come on, here we are. Ooh! I gotta stop saying ooh. I just I just get so excited, everyone, because this is awesome. <laughs> Look at those abs. Can you stop? Here we are, let's go. <laughs> Paddle back. Okay. So a little bit long, so what do we have to do? Go more forward. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do, and this is what many players do, you'll go long, you're gonna to wanna to shorten it up. Cause you're gonna to wanna to get it in. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna float the ball up even higher. Okay. Don't be that person. What did I say? Don't care about the ball, right? Okay. That's huge though. Here we are. So you see it fly long. You got to go even more into it. <laughs> and look what happened, ladies and, and gentlemen. And I went like this with my hand, too. All right. So what do we got to do? We have to start and end in the proper position. Let's go. Here we are. Paddle back. Start. Finish. Okay. Two so more. high and bad. Here we are. Let's go. Two more. Okay. So, Michelle. What? I'm a mad coach right now. Yeah. I'm furious with you right now. You're fired. Why am I furious? You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Why am I furious? Because right I'm not now? doing what you told me to do. No. Why am I furious? What happened in the last five balls? I didn't make a correction. Where did the last five balls go? Really long. Okay. And you made the same mistake how many times? Five. What the heck? Okay, what is the whole goal? We're learning something. You okay. need to make adjustments. Okay. Pickleball is all about adjustments. So if you miss five balls long, where's the next ball going to go? In the net. Okay, let's say it, please. If I knew how to all slice right. a ball into the net, I would. Here we are. Come on, Shell. Pickleball is all about adjustments. You need to make your adjustment. It's just such a different shot for me. Here we are. We're learning it, but you can't make the same mistake more than three times in a row. Like we said on our newsletter. Hey, let's go. Come oh, on. I'm so lucky. Here we are. <laughs> Woo. It's pretty cool hearing the ball whiz by my ear with all that amazing spin. Two more. One more. Here we are. We'll play it out. Play it out. Play it out. Oh, <laughs> out. <laughs> okay, listen, so why was that ball so good? Because I got low and I turned my shoulder and I moved into the court. Okay, why? Because That's you just thought about playing out. You wanted to beat me. You wanted to annihilate me <laughs> no, in front I... of our YouTube following. So you just didn't even care more and that's why it was so good. That last one, <laughs> no, if I, I let it go. I tried hard on that one. Really? Yes, I did. I turned my shoulder because I noticed that I was being a little bit too open. And I try to look down and I try to get low with my legs and turn my shoulder and then go through. So the that, last five I missed, I was more like this and up. So that I think. back of the front shoulder is really helping you. Yeah. Just trying to be like you Perfect. guys for turning the ball. Let's go. All right. So we passed the feeding test. Now we're going to go to the next step, everyone. And we are going to do normal serves. Can't wait. And do it. Now, your serve is so hard. How am I going to do this? On when you serve? guys are doing this backhand slice return, What's an easier shot to hit it off of, Michelle? A ball that's super close to you or far away? Like, how, how is it? A ball that's not super close to you. A ball that's like slower and up higher. Yeah. Right? I mean. Not high, but like a, a gentler serve, a weaker serve, not like a power 
aggressive, sir. Yeah, so if someone drills the ball at you and you feel like you get jammed, it's not going to work. You need to make sure, again, when you get sliced, and we didn't even really talk about this. Slice in general. Slice your contact a... point needs to be out in front. So if you ever feel like it's a high serve that's coming at you, like, quick, quickly, mm -hmm. you don't do this. Do this when you have a good chance. A good chance and some time. Remember, we, we did our backhand slice, fourth shot. Yeah. <laughs> Drop, you want sliced, slice all when that you stuff. have time. We talked about it's a fancy shot, it's a finesse shot, and you need to have time to create the finesse. It's kind yeah. of like a lot of people, if you like we said a million times, if you didn't play tennis or any other racket sport, you have to have time to think about this and create this movement. It can't be a return with slice when you're getting jammed up on a power serve. Yeah. So you have to recognize the right time to use this. Yeah, use wisely in certain positions in yeah. pickleball. All right, let's see if I can. All right, turn you ready to put it together? I don't know. Let's I'm go. I'm gonna try my best. Here we are. All right, Michelle. While I go over there, tell everyone what you're thinking about when you're doing this. Well, I know that the ball is gonna have to come to my backhand because we're making a YouTube video. So now my body's gonna be turned like this as I move to the ball. I'm gonna try to get as low as I can and turn my shoulder and look down and go like that. <sighs> All right, here we are. What happened? I don't know. Did you finish in the proper place? No. Here we are. Start and end. Woo! Look it's at that. It's about timing too. You have to get to the ball. Start and time. finish in the proper position. Okay. Good, so listen, we're doing the slice every time. That might, in a normal match, you probably wouldn't take that. It was really bad, my timing was off. You have to have the right timing to make the right contact. How do we make it easier? Paddle back, finish forward. But yeah, that one right there, in a normal game, you wouldn't have sliced. Okay. But we're working on it, so we're getting better from every single shot. Good. You know a big thing too? What? It's good on short serves when you're moving forward into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid to go up middle to you. Here we are. Go! Oh, sorry, I was catching. Good play. <laughs> Ah, oh, too good. One more, ready? For all the marbles for the YouTube championship. Here we are. Slice. Good. <laughs> Come on, one more, one more. I was thinking about speeding up, but I didn't want to. One more, one more. I'm trying to have my patience. Last one. Oh, no! I'm still not used to the sound this paddle makes. Makes yeah. Interesting. Did you see that last slice return? So good. What was that? I couldn't be. How did that even happen? The only thing that I could do is drop. <laughs> I, like, for me, when you're hitting these good slices, I can't do anything. But, I mean, I'm used to hitting a lot of slices. Yeah. If I, if I wasn't. Shout out Stevie Slices. She hits a forehand slice, though. Yeah, we got to teach you guys the forehand <laughs> slice as well. But um. Stevie Slice. Yeah, as the returner of your slices, it's super difficult to do anything other than just try to get you the ball back. You have to lift it. Now, let's move on to the second part of our video. How to return slice. Can we do a video on that? A YouTube? Yeah. I don't know, but like, just, let's just, it's not a long so thing, it's very, it's easy, very okay? simple. Where you players to... go wrong, we're trying to return slice, they let the ball come to them and they don't go to the ball. So if you ever are getting sliced against, you need to move up to the ball. Yes. You need to as think- As soon as you can, like, Way sooner than you think. Yeah. Move up to that ball. As soon as you see that slice, you have to understand slice needs time. Time needs slice, okay? So if you wait for the ball, 
the ball's not going to just come to you like a normal ball. The ball's going to hit and then it's going to die, slow down, and go to a different side. So instead of waiting for the ball to react, you're moving up to the ball before the ball even does that. And for all my kind-hearted pickleballers out there, this happened to me a ton when I first started playing, you're gonna get real tired of saying, oh, great return, great slice. Wow, that was so much slice in that ball. Wow, because you missed it. And you start complimenting them because you think it was such a great shot by them. You're gonna to need to learn to return those. And that's where this information comes in for you. So watch Michelle, she's going to return these couple slices and you're going to move up to the ball every single time, all right? So uh, you're slicing to me? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hit a couple slice serves, okay? Ready? Mm-hmm. Good. You saw how Michelle moved up to the ball there? Let's go. Here we are. Oh, too much. <laughs> I'm trying to show her my new serve that I was working on. Let's see. Here we are. Let's try it again. I just know you like to do this. Oh, good. One more. Oh. You saw how Michelle moved up to it? She's not waiting for it. She has to move up. And by me swinging this way, where it was the ball going? That way. Opposite way. Here we are. Let's try again. Good. Play it out. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta get used to this paddle. Why'd you step back? I don't know. I was gonna like speed it up at you, but then I hesitated, I guess. But yeah, that's These how you do. These are stressful points to do on YouTube. Yeah, everyone's watching. You, and you just wanna end it. <laughs> really? I think, yeah. I try to prolong it. The points? Yeah, oh. make you look good. Me? Yeah. All right, so if you guys wanna learn how to hit a slice return, I hope this video helped. Again, there's a lot of things to go over, but once you get the mechanics and the things that we went over, when you drill on it, again, use this in a drilling situation, don't go out and just play pickleball expecting you to learn this, but it's about how you start and how you finish. Everything else doesn't matter as long as you're in that proper position. And we have a couple tips that go with that. Get low, move up to the ball quickly, and keep your eye on it. Eye on the ball, and again, don't care, give no blanks, put your hands straight away from warrior each other two. so you can move up to it and it's going to make you so much better warrior too like you said now again we have these awesome brand new paddles we can't talk about them selkirk paddles of course um but they're super awesome uh i like it the amount of spin that you can get the feel the touch i still have to get used to it but it's pretty cool it's new beautiful it's shiny technology now, if you want the first details on it, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. We're going to release about it as soon as we are allowed to. If you guys want more videos, make sure to subscribe. Share with your friend. Click the link in our uh, description if you want any Universal Rackets program near you. I know Michelle's just looking at me right now. She's waiting for me to mess up <laughs> my uh, ending. Uh, what is it? Uh, goodbye message. Like it's an introduction, but what's the end of the video? Closing. A closing, but that's okay. Make sure to subscribe, follow us, do all that stuff, and we'll see you guys next time on court.